In the United States, when a man and a woman marry, the woman often takes her husband's surname. We explore whether such name changes occur automatically as a matter of law in Stewart v. Board of Supervisors of Elections. Before their marriage, Mary Emily Stewart and Samuel Austell agreed that Stewart would retain her premarital surname rather than taking Austell's surname. After the wedding, Stewart consistently used her premarital name. When the newlyweds moved to Maryland, Stewart registered to vote in Howard County under her premarital name, informing the registrar of her continuous and non-fraudulent use of the name after marriage. The Board of Supervisors of Elections for Howard County subsequently sent Stewart a notice claiming that under Maryland law, a married woman automatically assumed her husband's surname. Consequently, unless Stewart legally changed her name to her premarital name, her voter registration would be canceled. Stewart didn't execute the required form, and the board canceled her registration. Stewart sued the board, arguing that she never assumed her husband's surname and was entitled to register to vote under her premarital name. The board argued that once notified a woman was married, the board canceled a voter registration under her premarital name unless the woman promptly showed cause why such cancellation was inappropriate. The policy prevented women from voting under both their premarital and married names, mitigating voter fraud. The trial court held in the board's favor. Stewart appealed to the Maryland Court of Appeals. 